I want to compare solid wire with uh, add-on gas, argon and CO2, and uh, flux core wire. I'm going to cut some of the, the bad stuff off of it, and I'm going to use this section here to actually do some welding on, so I'm not wasting good steel. Obviously, this needs some prep. We're going to take the rust off of it and get it prepped up properly. Both sides are going to be um, equal so that the test is you know, somewhat controlled, and then we'll go from there. All right, let's try that. Okay, so we're going to identify the bent section here as flux core. So we're, that's going to be flux, and this side is going to be solid. So it is a good weld. I stopped a little shy here at the end, so I could have finished off my weld, but you can see that the, the bead did follow properly. But I'm getting a lot of spatter, little guys up here. The, uh, the setting's obviously pretty good because I've only got very, sm very few small ones, small beads, and just tiny ones over here. I'm hoping that the gas is going to change that. So we'll set up our other test on this side. But let's get another weld in here, maybe another piece connected. And maybe we'll put another piece in here. Okay, so here's our second weld on the, the gasless. This is a flux core wire that's loaded in here. And I'll, I'll also mention that there is a tip difference. If you can see this, there's no gas coming out. So there's no reason to clog up a, a, a perfectly working tip. So, and this one looks like it needs a little bit of cleaning. Well, you can really see how much this flux core adds flavor <laughs> to my welding uh, surface. Uh, you can see that I have a little bit more cleanup to do after something like this. Okay, a little bit of prep work here. Uh, first of all, from the original weld here. This is the flux core weld. And this weld here, you can see some really nice lay-ins here. I overlapped on this guy, did a couple more runs. Pretty good. But if you feel this, the texture of this needs a lot of uh, post-work uh, grinding, just simply because of the spatter. And even some of the spatter has fallen into this area here, which was originally cleaned for this setup. But um, that's the whole point of this, is to get this to a point where I can now say, all right, um, what benefits do the gas over the gasless have? Um, Cost-wise, and we'll do a comparison and all the rest of it. But right now, I'm just doing a setup here. All right, let's do this bad boy.
let's take a look at this, okay? This is a clean weld. There's some spatter on the beginning here, only because I didn't get my movement in yet. But you can see this is a very clean weld. There's a, a little bit of distortion in the, uh, or so, I, I'm sorry, there's a little bit of coloration in the metal above. I'll point it out with a pencil here. This, oh, it's all, it's all hot. So from here up, there's some discoloration. I'll, I'll just put some pencil there. There's a little bit of discoloration here coming out of that metal. But as far as spatter goes, there's a little bit at the beginning here. This is where I started my weld. And I wasn't sure what my speed was going to be. But that is a nice looking bead. I gotta say, this is pretty impressive. I've uh, been working with the flux core for some time now, and I just switched over to um, the Argon CO2 mix. It's a 70, I'm sorry, 8515 mix. 85 Argon, 15 CO2. And I gotta say, I, I've got some really nice beads. I have to be very careful of blowback here. And when I started this run here, I can see that there's some bubbling going on there. So that movement too quickly there. But I got to say my last bead, this is a, a layered bead. So this is over one bead. And I was able to do a little bit of a pattern with it. And I was catching some really nice, um, well, that's, that's beautiful. I don't, even, I don't even have any slag on that thing. So the, the gas really keeps that slag away. When I see what the gas protects and how well the weld looks, I definitely want to stay with the gas. So thanks for watching. Remember guys, thumbs up and please subscribe. Take care. See you next time.